Everything's learnings, wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Wow. That's right, baby. Today we're talking about it. It is officially the new moon in Scorpio that has perfected at 12 degrees. So if you are somebody with Scorpio energy in your chart, this is a big whammy deal. And because of the planetary conversations involved, this is generally a big whammy deal for whichever house of your personal natal chart this falls in. If you're not sure of your personal natal chart, you can go ahead and generate one for yourself. You can also get a reading with a professional astrologer like myself. So go ahead and, you know, reach out to me at the Gmail link down below for now. I am putting uh, exciting new links soon. And there's already one there, which brings me to Patreon Wisdom Drops Edition is officially live, baby. And at some point in this video, you will be cut off, friends on YouTube, so that the Patreon folk, as they join us, are here to see the full report for this Scorpio new moon. And let me tell you, it's going to be a juicy. We're going to go deep because, hello, Scorpio energy. <laughs> so with that said... Last announcement, Wisdom Drops Astrology School is enrolling now and applications are being accepted. Link is down below if you feel as though you are meant to be in a one year long container with myself and my partner, Trinetti, who will be coaching you in your personal business development as an astrologer after working with yours truly for nine solid months on a weekly multi-hour basis, Okay links down below people so let's jump into it scorpio and thank you for those of you you know here with me listening to all the exciting updates how you feeling babes this is a pretty exciting lunation so here's the chart you should see it on my screen and basically you know this is a deep chart because this is definitely the new moon right here at 12 degrees of scorpio but the ruler of the moon itself is yes what mars did you say good job because mars is the ancient ruler of scorpio and mars is yes in the same sign as the moon itself bum, bum, bum. what does it mean the hosting planet the planet that determines the energy of that lunation right because the sign that is being ignited by the sun and the moon is visited it's being a, a you know like an egg being fertilized it's a new beginning it's a seed germinating and bursting out of its coat right just like that mars is there saying I am the host of this experience. I am the facilitator of this sexy, sexy, beautiful new beginning that is this new moon. And because of that, we have more energy behind the manifestations at this time. Now, speaking of energy, let's just flow into some of the energy feeling words, the emotive words of this nation, shall we? We shall, and that will transition us back into our astrological uh, intensity, right? The conversation around that. So that is the first feeling. You're gonna be feeling intense if you're not already. Let us know in the comments, by the way, down below, how are y'all feeling? I've been feeling the vibes, it's Scorpio energy, you know? So it's like, it's all this or it's all that and it ain't nothing in between, you know? It's kind of like that kind of energy. Um, Cause that's the second vibe. It's like very divisive for better and worse. So I think this is going to be like a polarizing time. We're going to find like, oh, I really mesh and cling with you or like, oh, I really like don't, you know, and those sorts of clarity moments will be growing over the next two weeks. And the energy of this new moon in Scorpio in general will be in effect for the next six months. Say what? Six months? Yes, six months. Because... Anytime you have a new moon or a full moon for that matter, the counterpart to that is always six months later and prior, okay? Because that's how long it takes for this to, to gain again for the, the full moon to be present in that same sign, okay? Because the sun moves six months to get to the other side of the chart. That's how it works. It's a 12 month cycle, right? If you're into this stuff and you need to learn and get really squeaky clean on all those nice nitty gritty astrological details, you can apply to Wisdom Drops Astrology School because the container is about to be launching for a year long program. Very excited for that. So 
anyway, you know, the idea here, friends, is that this is an intense vibe. This is going to be an emotional vibe as well. And not only divisive, but very emotionally driven. You're going to be feeling very intuitive as well. So we have this intuitive emotionality. We have this sense of uh, divisiveness, like I'm, you know, I'm without or I'm with. It's one or the other, like I'm with you or I'm not, you know, that kind of energy. And it's also getting, you know, to the hardcore sincerity and passion of it all. And that's where we're really getting into the details because that brings us back to Uranus. That brings us back to the Saturn square. That brings us back to the astrology of it all, where we start looking into this and we say, not only is this a new beginning in Scorpio, which is the sign of the Phoenix, the sign of the death vulture, the sign of the, you know, the force of death, the sign of composting and decomposition and the brutal gnarly undersides of the logs that nobody wants to see until they do, because they need to, because they need to inspect and see what's going on and learn how that process works to turn the shit into gold, okay? So even amidst this depth of Scorpio, Scorpionic energy, we have also this tension brewing and activating the energy of the Scorpio new moon because of these squares. 